Hello everyone and welcome back to another Door Kickers 2 video. Today we're going to be changing up from our typical Ranger raids with some CAG style, Special Forces style action here going in pretty dynamic uh, on some smaller maps. Now instead of taking out, you know, 10, 12 Rangers, we're only going to be taking out four of these Special Forces advisors and you might be wondering where do you get this faction from? So we're still using that Project Ares mod and Project Ares adds in that US Army Rangers realistic element, but it also adds in a US Special Forces ODA. Um, so this is going to be pretty much a Green Beret element that is also attached with a Commando Brigade or a partner unit that is, you know, local to the nation that they're working in. So this partner unit in this mod gets a whole bunch of, you know, jank weapons, maybe some M4s that we've donated to them, some AKMs. But they also have these Green Berets or this ODA that is kitted with some pretty cool stuff. So for, you know, what I've got them set up right now with, it's just Mark 18 suppressed just because, you know, being a little basic here. But they do have the Urgies and Mark 17 variants. Uh, and then <laughs> something cool I noticed earlier is that they actually have an M107. I don't know when I would ever pull out an M107 on the, uh, I think this is the weapon sergeant. No, who is this? It's the operation sergeant. Um... <laughs> but they get some cool stuff they do get some cool stuff uh, a lot of different sniper rifles as well um and then for the lmg it's very close to how the automatic rifleman in the uh, ranger platoon uh kind of operates but we are gonna switch this up instead of a mark 46 we're taking mark 48 mod one and just throw in uh we could throw a 1.5 times 6x but i think we're just gonna go with an eotech uh especially for the ranges that we're working on these missions other than that they don't have any breaching tools aside from a dynamic hammer they don't actually come with slap charges uh they do actually have a thermal torch uh but it's pretty much just dynamic hammers flashbangs and frag grenades <laughs> so we're gonna be rocking it pretty loud pretty fast uh with this oda element we're not gonna bring any of the partner unit um we're rocking this cool fths kill cell which is pretty much just a custom black uh, helmet here it's just kind of larpy within this project aries mod and then we are also going to be rocking green or ranger green jpcs so some semi-cool stuff maybe we can put some more you know unique flashy stuff on i don't think so i think mark 18s are going to be pretty good here you can also rock block twos uh which are you know we'll, we'll throw a couple block twos on why don't we throw a couple block twos on we'll keep the mark 18s for these guys but we'll throw a mark or a block two on the operation sergeant because why not uh and then yeah we'll just keep a hollow side on them so two mark 18s a block two and a mark 48 so a pretty interesting setup here uh i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we're kind of um ordered properly here i kind of want this guy in the back of the stack we've got a hammer guy here we'll put the hammer on this side Otherwise, I think this is pretty much it. Once again, we're going to be playing in those smaller CQB missions because I know you guys have been asking for that. And this operation is called Hot Room, and we have to do a hostage rescue. I believe this is the guy right here, the mayor himself, and he's surrounded by a ton of insurgents, uh, including an executioner, which, if I'm remembering correctly, if we get compromised, he will attempt to eat this guy so we've got to work pretty fast here through whatever this is and make our way to this guy and pretty much run this fast and do some cag goon operator style uh speed here so let's go ahead and get started that's pretty much all we really need to analyze or can't analyze especially with all this black space from the going in blind mod so we're just gonna hit start and see what's up here okay so some of these guys are patrolling around. It looks like there is a security QRF. Uh, and I just noticed these guys are rocking level three plates, or at least the security QRF guys are. Uh, and they're intermingled with these insurgents who are not wearing any body armor. So that's going to have to kind of linger in the back of our minds. The threat that we're dealing with is, is indeed armored. But let's just go ahead and start working this first door. Now, this mod does make these guys look quite sick, I, I must say uh but yeah it looks like we're dealing with a reinforced door we're gonna go ahead and get stacked on this door we're gonna see if we can kick this it is locked so we are going to need to use this dynamic hammer breach on this first door and we're gonna get our guys set up on cross coverage so that we can cover teal and be prepared for when that door swings like so now we'll swing it so I'll step out a little more okay so already 
taking out a couple of these QRF. There's a there's a ton of civilians. <laughs> so we're gonna try to take this quickly without um any civilian casualties. We're gonna try. Uh, but we are on a time sensitive target, which pretty much means we're going to go quite fast. It we're gonna bang only what we absolutely need to. And pretty much there's not going to be any frags because <laughs> even this first room, there's three civilians. We've got some kind of front door here. We got tight right that is not cleared. And then this first room is quite a mess. We've got a glass door that sees all the way through. More dead space here. Another open dead space here. And God knows what's in this mid range on the left. So we're going to just center check with Peach here. And now we're going to make entry. I'm going to take Peach straight to the south. I'm going to have you come in straight to the left. Oh, there's a dude here. Muzzle, muzzle thump. Thank you. Muzzle thump this dude. Careful of the civilians, please. And then we're going to flow in with the rest of the stack. You can come back here. You're clear. You can go back here. You can come here while scanning this. And then you can also, whoops, let's grab yellow. We get everyone in the room and can and sliding. Oh God, there's so many. <laughs> um, all right, we've got dead space on the left here. Uh, it looks like it connects around somehow. Another glass door, which is a nightmare and another open danger area. And then it looks like this deep right is not necessarily even walled off either. Uh, it's just, it's kind of a nightmare right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to establish cross coverage in this thing for as long as we can we're going to continue sliding the stack kind of i guess you could tee it say like we're going to tee this off a little bit have yellow hold this so nothing squirts out on the western side of this dead space still taking out a couple threats we're okay this looks a little weird but we're holding decent cross coverage I'm going to hold yellow back here, actually. Okay. Um, now, I think what we do is we flip this. How is the executioner? Still no reaction from the executioner, so that is good. We're just going to flip this like that. Have teal plate the back here. You're looking here now. Uh-huh. So there's another shooter coming out. Teal, please. All right, good shots from Teal. Another foreign advisor down here. Come on, good shots, good shots. Still no crazy reaction from the executioner. This tight corner is clear. So I'm going to flip this now, like so. You can come back and we're going to wall ride down here, I believe is the play. Actually, I'm going to have you come down here. And now what we're doing is we're taking Peach to flip. Yellow can rejoin the stack and kind of hold here. Teal is going to... Let's wall ride you this way. And orange is going to reestablish cross coverage at this position. Oriented at these doors. I think this is right. This is right. Okay. Cool. This room's clear. We can immediately turn around. All right, cross coverage coming all the way through. I'm actually going to have yellow join teal so that we have two guys on either side. Still nothing crazy from the executioner. And we just need to move as fast as possible to this guy. So I think we're going to wait real fast. Can we afford to wait? I don't think so. We're going to flip this so that you are looking down here. And then you are going to pie this. Oh, that has him walking backwards, though. We'll have him curve around like that. You come out like so. This shouldn't. This is going to look a little wonky, I think. But it's the only way we can keep the stack rolling. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We do like one of these. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, all is well, all is well, all is well. I know this has got this. <laughs> this is a really tricky room, so 
excuse me if uh the call the calls aren't quite clear because is <laughs> this was i it's just a nightmare to deal with but we handled everything bit by bit in really small movements now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use orange to plate the bottom here we are going to plate it this is kind of concerning because oh god never mind we're not gonna plate this so my thought first was to have orange come down here plate these two doors and then work the glass door the issue is i think as we enter this space i think this insurgent has eyes like this which number one orange's back would be towards this guy so he's shooting into our back in addition it puts these two civilians in the line of fire i wish i could call and give these guys orders like hey come to me right so instead what we're gonna do is we're just going to scoop back like this and control this from a little bit further back so we don't expose our bodies here while we work up to this door now who's got the hammer you've got the hammer can you do it from here are we allowed to hammer this we can't interesting Oh, okay, hold up. I need to think about how we do this. There's no easy way I put myself here without putting my face in the door, shooting through the glass while simultaneously plating would create like a civilian hamburger. <laughs> Yellow pins the top door. That's just slow. I kind of want to just open this door and bang through here. I might be what I can't move like that because the civilians in the way. I think we do. We're going to we're going to stack really quick for this and see maybe if I can work it. Figure something out here. Or maybe the civilians move. Okay. Well, ah, oh, dude, how do I get you out of the way? Because if I swing this door. Oh my God, these civilians are a problem. Because if I swing this door and I get to a gunfight, these guys shoot through here. They injure the civilians. I think I have to go through this door. Can I just, I don't want to kick that door. Can I kick this door? Oh, yeah, there we go. Like this. Okay, I move you there. What is this, Mark 48, boy? I regret taking this Mark 48. This is my Mark 48, right? Okay, so you're going to pin this door. And you're going to push up and prep to breach. In the meantime, we play as best we can while respecting these civilians. This is going to kick the right door, right? Oh, I don't like this. Which door is this kicking? Okay, it's kicking the right door. We're going to kick that door and then immediately... Do we even need to kick it? Yeah, I want to... Oh, God, there's a glass door in here. Do we just open this door? Maybe we just open this door. We open this door. Oh, I hate this room. I hate this room. This is such a tricky small map. We All right, this door's out. We stopped thinking about this door because the civilians are in the way here. It's got to be this door. We s quietly swing the glass door open. Let's just start with that because that has to happen. We still have control on this unknown short room and this unknown room. Let's swing this door first and see what happens. Yellow plates this door. I need to turn left. This guy needs to look to the left because this is a glass door and we're going to get shot through this door. So this has to happen from this guy. And as he enters, we cross and hold this door. And we roll like this, that side. I, 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 it's going to come down to shooter skill. So I hope 
Briz is got good marksmanship skills because yes yet yeah, this you need to kill this dude okay thank god we got the executioner we can kind of back off here a little bit we're gonna bail out of this slightly now this is where we're just going to have to take a chance and drop something uh we just don't have the manpower nor the time to hold every single problem with a gun i'm gonna drop coverage on this door just because it doesn't look like any threat is close to breaching this door so that's why we bang with yellow instead of teal this is still still dangerous space here Get this bang in hurry quickly quickly okay we've got good bang we're going to plate and roll uh, and then we're going to continue rolling like this. We're going to take him out slow as we continue to pie. Okay. Woo! We did it. That was a very sick small run here. Uh, we're going to go run it back. Um, and I think we can fit two small dynamic runs in one video. Or maybe even three. We'll see how fast we get through the other ones. But you guys, once again, don't like it when I talk through, or uh, don't like it when I pause these. So we'll keep it smooth. But I'll I'll make any small comments I can see. But this one was super tricky. This one was super tricky. Ah, uh, but we managed to actually get the ODA in there really fast. So in real time, we'll see how this looks. They're here. Absolutely muzzle thump that nerd. Good cross here into a flip. Yep, all good. All right, all nice and controlled here. This is where my brain starts melting a little bit. We cleared this whole room from outside the room. Like, we didn't even need to get in there. We just shot everyone up. Uh, it's a little cheesy because we know in the game who is a executioner and who isn't. Um, <laughs> so I think if we did not have that game mechanic and anyone could execute, we'd have to bang it and actually flood the room. But because we have that meta information from the game mode, uh, we were able to clear it from the outside without putting the operators at risk. But no hostages lost, everyone killed, no civilian casualties. So I'm happy with that. Let's go hit the next mission here which let's go ahead and take was this stop execution Ooh, that's gonna be hard that is going to be hard uh <laughs> oh god these are all very difficult let's this one looks cool let's let's <laughs> we'll save the hard ones <laughs> for some other time um okay so we have the wrong element equipped let's go back to our oda and we can actually bring the whole ODA stack out. So let me go ahead and do that real fast. Uh, I don't like this Mark 48. It's just, uh, I think the LAMG, unless we can get something that's quicker to get up. I mean, I guess we could just bring a normal, a normal rifle. Let's just do that. Let's just bring block twos. <laughs> Let's just bring block twos. Uh, is that got really sketch with the Mark 48. Uh, it's just too slow in this game to get up on target. It just takes way too long. So a couple um, Mark 18s and a Block 2s. Actually, we'll take double Mark 18s here. Okay. So four Mark 18s and two Block 2s. Yeah, keeping it real simple, we take the whole ADA, uh, a, uh, ODA out. Excuse me. Um, on Island Strike, secure and extract the HVT alive. Eliminate all forces. Yeah, let's go ahead and get in on this one. We've hitched a ride on Navy Riverine Craft to Hidden Insurgent Meeting. Two HVTs. Okay, two HVTs and they can escape. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool two hvts and they can escape it's a good thing we have our containment element back here this is a pretty simple containment we're just gonna have one guy looking here one guy looking here 
let's go ahead and just do that immediately and then let's take a look at our front here sheet metal gate right uh well we don't once again we don't have charges so the oda is an interesting element to work with just because of that but who's got my hammer who has my hammer you do rambo has my hammer so i'm actually gonna hold you rambo's gonna come up to this pocket like this okay and let's go all right containment is ooh. okay so we have two insurgents in the back here yeah we're gonna hold that we're gonna hold that okay let's go ahead and work this door all right nothing yet two hvis okay yellow is gonna come in we'll get cross coverage established like so you can come up okay there's a patrol on the back here all right chad had to initiate because we had this guy pop out the rear all good who has my hammer again okay purple's gonna come up again Anything on the back side. Yeah, we're just sh we're shredding them right now. We're going to stay stacked on the left. All right. Chad is just murking dudes in the back. We're going to get a banger in here. And we're going to chase the bang in going dynamic. Let's cut this and make it a little nicer. All right. Actually, let's go like this. Okay. Double corner feds essentially here. Chad is just murking dudes. 11 bullets left. All right, we're going to go simultaneous on this. Or are we? No, no, we're just going to pin this. Oh, God. No slap charges really makes things somewhat difficult. All right, let me... Let's get all the guys in the room first. We'll get cross cover coverage established. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't come off the door yet. All right. If we had slap charges, I would slap both of these and simultaneously take them dynamic, but we do not have slap charges. So I'm just going to make sure that we are going to flip on the doors here and get a banger. Please tell me this. Oh, this is open. We'll get a banger in this room. Kind of plate this a little bit. Eyes open, guys. And we're going to chase in with a three stack and pin the back with green. We're gonna take this all the way down. You're gonna take this right in here. You're going to roll this as they come in. And you're going to also come down long, like so. All right, all good. We're gonna handle this now. We're going to kick this, step back, and pie out. And these guys are going to continue cross coverage down this thing. Eye out. It's clear from the outside, I think. We'll just double check this. Yeah, clear. These guys can run back over here to regroup. 
as they're running back. We'll continue this clearance. There better not be another escape that I cannot see somewhere here. I would be very upset. Okay, we're going to stack, double stack again. We're going to keep... This is a little dangerous here, so we're going to roll everything up just a little bit more. And now we're going to flip. So there's an open dead space on the left. I'm just going to have you flip this to plate this. And then we're going to take you and flip you around this corner. And green's going to pin this door. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Green's gonna pin this. We're gonna come back around him like that. And we're going to work this door. We're gonna just take it dry. Uh huh. We're all good. We're all good. a weird bathroom all right bathroom's clear coming out be back up like this so that we're not gonna get shot all right um oh, i don't like this too much uh we're gonna roll to this side door locked it is locked who's my breacher purple's my breacher so we're gonna switch out here all right so we got one of the hvts here just gonna roll this push up to get cross coverage all right Closed door left, deep right's open. Do I have a window here? No, it's a blackboard. Okay. Uh, can we move him out of the way? We can. I'm going to, I wish we could push him. Ah, uh, this is so awkward because of the HVI. Who's shooting? Wait, where's this dude from? Where, where this? What is? What? What? I don't know. He spawned on top of us. All right, Chad needs to reload. I, I, I don't understand. Um, is this QRF? I guess it's QRF. Change back to the primary. Get this gun up, please. Okay, let's. We need to continue working this and quickly before. That happens again. Um, we're going to prep a bang into this room. Okay, second HVI is here. All right, you're going to you're going to come out. You're going to secure this dude. You're going to bring this dude out. You're going to maintain a plate here. Uh, extract is back the way we came. Um, got that guy. We're getting that guy. I'm very concerned. All right, is there a door here? All right, yeah, we're 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 gonna leave. I'm gonna have you come in first. That is that was crazy. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Did we not cuff this guy yet? Did you get him? Oh my god, arrest him, please. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. I need to see what happened down there. I need to see what that nonsense was. We initiated on this on the back side of the building. There's a lot of guards on this cafe.
Not the cleanest run. But this run was fast. Definitely not the cleanest run. Yeah, this was the right call to roll to this corner. All right, let, let's see what happened down here. I think they came out of the gate. Oh, no, they just literally spawned on top of us. That's cheese. <laughs> That's so cheese. That's so cheese. Okay, no. Nah. A good run. I think we have time for one more. We'll run another small, fast one. Uh, we'll definitely run another hostage rescue or something like that. Um, to challenge ourselves. Um, let's go ahead and run. I don't know what raid on stronghold is again. I forget. Um, unfair odds or bomb defusal. Oh God. We haven't tried this with all the mods yet. <sighs> So we're bringing two of these dudes. Do we want the mark? Oh, I'm going to metagame the hell out of this. What's better? Yeah, we're going to want the Mark 18s. All right, let's get in here. There's a... Oh, we're oh my God, I had the time running. <gasps> That's two seconds we wasted. Okay, we're going to keep going. Let's see. Sheet metal, grating door, something going on back there. This the bomb defusal is so hard to play with uh with going in blind because i can't tell where this thing is so come on come on come on come on come on come on all right how we do this is we're going to get further back we're going to open the door quietly or semi-quietly two man bomb defusal this is about to get real spicy all right, we're just gonna have to give up that six we're going to breach and enter now like so They're here. oh don't kick it all right it worked out 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 oh my god this is stressful this is clear this is a tight corner no one can hide behind we're gonna spin to this side we're going to make you work around this oh there was a dude back there that could have been so bad he was hiding in this tiny little, tiny little thing. All right. There's a civilian here. Okay, now what? Now what do we do? Now what do we do? I'm surprised I didn't see him entering here considering this is how small of a circle he could be in. That's actually really surprising. I didn't see him on entering. That's why you check your corners. Okay, uh, we're gonna work up to the corner here. We're going to maintain this cross. Come up to the cross. There's... How can I see in this room? Oh, it's just a partition. Um, I think we flip. We flip and roll this. I want to get on this side of the door. I think we flip into this. Yeah, we have to come out to cover this like so. And then here you turn. Okay, good. Uh-huh. We're going to go push down deep. You're going to pin the door and roll. Two-man CQB. All right. The thing is, we're on bomb defusal. And the bomb could be anywhere. The bomb could be literally anywhere. Where do we go? I think we go here just because this is the fastest door to work. But I want to clear this real fast. Okay. Eyes open, guys. All right. Open this door. Okay, we are going to have to give this door up. We've got door, door here. We're going to come in like so and get cross coverage. Um, I think we're just going to work. There's no sound. I can't hear this thing. Is it right here? Is that what this is? I don't know. Should I have gone that way? I don't know what the sparkling means. <laughs> we're going to work this... I wish I could hear it or something. I'm getting so much anxiety right now. Okay. 
all right i mean there's insurgents over here i guess we're gonna continue chasing because maybe that's where they put the bomb i guess <laughs> what is this what is this tell me what this is is this anything i should be concerned about what is this no this is nothing all right it's gonna be it's it's gotta be in the building right we're gonna come back here oh my god i'm so stressed i'm gonna kick this get eyes on this thing please roll this what's in here take it go oh i don't think we have time <laughs> i don't know how I, I don't know how we're supposed to do this i can't even hear the ied through the wall i can't even hear it if i could hear the ied through the wall it would maybe be possible with going in blind i guess you can see it right here um but yeah dude this mod makes things like this so much harder that's so funny though i wasted a couple seconds here like two seconds but i think it takes like five seconds to defuse the thing so i don't think it would have mattered i'm trying to see if we can sh we could have shaved some time off anywhere no, see like i do that guy was like i don't know how he didn't spot that dude in that short room i mean we're moving fast as fast as we can I guess maybe there's a tell like, oh, they ran away from the bomb. Fuck is it? <sighs> yeah. Uh, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Um, yeah, in the uh, in the overview, I guess you can kind of see the bomb here. I, I, I didn't want to cheat it like that, though. All right, we'll go for one more. We'll go for another time sensitive because those are, those are fun. Those are really, really fun because I don't know anything about where anything is. All right, so we have a sniper. We have two hostages. Okay. We're gonna grab everyone and put them in here. Okay, yep, this is all good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Let me get a second dynamic hammer. So we've got two hammers, frags and flashes. Uh, looking good. I'm actually gonna change out this triple for it really does not matter at all we're just gonna bring more hammers in all honesty and then trade these flat uh frags out for some flashes uh we're building for speed right now actually is it faster if i just don't bring yeah it is actually how fast can we make these dudes not much faster okay if i take a pistol off no all right yeah let's let's just do I mean i guess we can bring some torches is this only good padlocks metal doors and chain link chain link fences which we are not really dealing with with this group so we're just gonna go for speed we need we, we need to build for speed with the exception of the hammers for breaching all right let me double check why are these guys faster? Are the Mark 18s really make you that much faster? Interesting. No? Oh, yeah. Maybe they do. Oh, they do. Interesting. All right. Well, that is the play. Bring Mark 18s out as well. On these guys. So we're near max speed here. The need for speed. Max speed bangers two hammers literally just blazing through these maps here all right let's see what we're up with flimsy door i do have a sniper i don't remember how i initiate i think i just click why are we starting right in front of the door let's unfuck this stack a little bit actually you can stay here you can get over here we'll condense it like so okay is this locked no all right first thing we do is get a banger in
all right now we go now we go now we go uh we have you come in straight like so oh god that's a lot of dudes get guns in get guns in here get guns in here get guns in here get guns in here Um, we're okay so far. I need more guns in here. More guns in here. More guns. Flood the room with guns. All the guns. All the guns. All the guns. All the guns. What? What is? What is happening? What? What does this mean? What does that mean? What does this mean? I don't know what this symbol means. But we need to continue working towards the hostage. Oh, okay. I'm seeing... I don't know what that means. There's something on this door, though, that's red. Or is that blood? I don't know. I don't know. I'm... <laughs> the fog of war in this game is insane. We're going to continue. We're, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. I'm going to ignore all these doors and roll the stack across the room. I don't know what that radio sound is. All right, we're going to keep going to the hostages. Is this door locked? No. And then we're going to keep working this side. We are going to pin this door and roll like so. Pin this door, roll like so, and get on this side so we can stack the thing. Oh my god. Thank god. Purple's not looking the right way, but we fixed it. Don't close the door. Get in there. Get in there. You can come back here. You can get cover on this door. Actually, you need to kind of stay here. Oh, this door's locked? Okay. And then you come in. Then you come in. Alright, this hostage is secured. We're gonna leave purple to lock this down. Green, we can come back out here like so. Meanwhile, this team's working this door. We don't have time for a bang. We're gonna come straight in and clear this. Oh, there is indeed an executioner. Oh! Get in the room, please. All right, we've saved the known hostage. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um. This was sloppy just because we're going so fast into the blind. I, 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 I'm panicking. This game, the fact that a top-down arcade game like this can create so much anxiety is honestly a testament to the game design. You are just going to plate this. You need to watch this door. You're going to uncuff both of these dudes. The question is if there are any, un uh, any, uh, other hostages sometimes there are um in the unknown area thank you i won't forget this oh, but we're just gonna get me. these people out first thank you i won't forget this so we're gonna play this the lives of the hostages is more important than the lives of the operators at this point so we're just gonna pin everything pin and plate everything and bring the hostages out. And then yellow is going to bring these guys out. Right. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Hostage secured. And if there's more hostages, then we'll need to work at more doors. Hostage secured. Hostage secured. There are indeed other hostages that we do not know about. Okay.
Or potentially. Okay. We start working these doors. Then going dynamic. While we plate. Oops. All right, that room's clear and secure next door. Gonna, I can move these guys kind of out of the out of harm's way a little bit Burn the flash hold position find a good spot this is a short room so I'm just gonna start moving this stack over here that's yeah, clear and secure I don't know what that radio thing is. The flash. All right. Oh, God. The thing is, like, every time I play one of these hostage rescue or bomb the fusel missions, I want to, like, do it without pausing or, like, do it as fast as I can. Just because otherwise, if we take however much time, it kind of ruins the tempo. For like the uh the feeling of urgency so that's why i kind of end up rushing and not speaking too much is because i want to keep that tempo up because it's interesting um otherwise if we just take a hostage rescue and take 30 40 minutes to do it it feels weird i guess you could do it without pausing but it's just really hard because you're controlling five guys instead of just one this was just one of those rare moments where flooding the room with guns was the way to go. Otherwise, we rush to the hostage rooms. Get the executioner. That was pretty much all she wrote. Thank you. I won't forget this. Get ready. Get ready. We prep the plates. We took the hostages out. Control wasn't really that good on this one, but the fundamentals were. Hostage secured. Hostage secured. Rolled back to start chunking away at these doors. Some really fast room clearances there. That dude took a ton of bullets. Holy. Yeah, um, you guys wanted to see some small, more dynamic raids. We we definitely did a lot of hostage rescue stuff tonight. Um, and then that bomb defusal, man, that is hard. That really is hard. I'm not sure how we how we play that. Maybe we cheat and we do look at the map, but then that defeats the purpose, I feel like. So we'll figure that out as far as how we can work the bomb defusal missions. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's dynamic raids. And I'll catch you in the next one.